Hello, independent filmmaker. Congratulations. You got your first film. You're ready to go, but you need five quick tips to help you do amazing on set. Be confident, have people respect you, and get the trust of your crew. That's what you need. Hi, I'm Nikki Michaud. I'm an actress best known for TV shows like Lincoln Heights and my film Summer of Violence that I directed. Um, I've been doing this for over 30 years, over 150 episodes of television. So I'm here to help you be better on set. I'm here to help you actually be amazing. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to your first day on set. So what we're going to talk about today is everything. Well, not everything. But I'm going to give you five quick tips so that when you come to your first day on set, you are ready. And by the way, congratulations on getting your first film. Let's go. It is so exciting. So the whole trick to being ready first day is preparation. So the five must know, must do things to be ready for um, your first day on set. And this will also help keep production running smoothly and it'll give you confidence so that you can get the shots you want and get your vision onto the movie screen, onto the TV screen for everybody to see. So let's get into it. First thing, I'm going to move my face over to this side. First thing is your mindset. Okay, you're ready. All the work that you did to get here, getting the script, writing the script, getting the finances together, you're so ready. So congratulations on that. So that should tell you, you can do this. You're ready. So let your mindset know that you're, you're, this is not an accident. It's not luck. You are more than capable. Get that out of the way. Um, but knowing all that, let's not, let's not let our ego take over. And I love a quote that Bill Duke said. Ego, E-G-O, edging God out. So let's keep God in the mix and know that you're part of an amazing team and none of us do this by ourselves. Um, remember that you are the leader. Stay focused on your vision, but keep your ego in check. Just a little side note I want to talk to you also about is make sure you have planned your finances accordingly. Filmmaking, an indie, an indie film can take anywhere from 18 months to two years before you start seeing a return on your investment sometimes. So plan your finances so that you're able to go the distance. If you are secure in your finances, you will behave better on set. You will be in a better space, less stress, less anxiety. And guess what that means? More creative and a more beautiful project on screen. And that's what we want. So let's talk get that straight number two storyboards storyboards the blueprints of your film storyboards are every scene drawn out in the movie like how you see it shot by shot um this is something that i recommend you do way before you get to pre-production like as early as soon as you know you're going to do this film and you've got the script in front of you and you know this is the film you want to make, I start storyboarding. And once the script is locked, well, locked enough, I would start storyboarding because, um, especially if you're fundraising for the film, start storyboarding. Even if scenes get tossed out, new scenes get brought in, you're not going to change all 120 pages of the script. So this will, the exercise of having it done, also then it gives you time. Because what you don't want is, is when the money comes in or everything's ready to go and you're rushed. You want to be able to give yourself time to do the boards, time to change the boards, time to create new things, time to hire someone to do the boards for you if, if, you, if your budget allows that. Time, time to get some concept art done. Time, time, time. As much time as you can give the boards before you start pre-production, the better. Because it will help you have a much better shoot. And also, do not worry about drawing. You don't need to draw. You can use stick figures. There are also programs out there that will let you kind of do computerized uh, storyboards. Like I used to use Celtics, Celtics.com. I'll put the I'll, the information is in the comments below uh, for everything that I mentioned. Celtics.com will let you kind of draw with computers to create storyboards. It's awesome. Um, so don't let your artistic skills stop you guys from doing storyboards. It's like really important for you to do that. Now, step number three, another really important thing is um, it's here at the bottom. It's your shot list, but really two things, your shot list and your lined script. So from your storyboards, you'll start to get an idea of your shot list. 
and your shot list is you know every scene maybe you start with a wide your master are you going to push in or are you going to stay static on the wide you can do a two shot you're going to do overs you're going to do cleans what shots are you going to get um is this a, a steady cam shot is this a dolly shot like what is the shot and you write each one down you, you can typically you can do this on your own you can do this with your dp but plan out your shots once you have your shot list and your storyboard go through your script line your script it's called a line script and you just go through the script where you write you talk a line like say you're wide and it's at the top of the scene and you draw a line for how long you're going to stay in that wide shot before you cut to a two shot or a close-up or an insert and you do that throughout the script and i know that this isn't always talked about as much aligned script so if you guys have questions on it just leave me a comment and let me know if you want me to make a video just on that and i'll go through how to do how to line your script it's a great exercise and it's great to have with you on set especially if let's say you're running long on your day and you are being rushed and you're losing your location losing light having knowing exactly where in the scene you're going to be using each shot is helpful so that you can not overshoot you don't need to get too much coverage this allows you to get the essentials so that you can get in and get out you know the thing about low budget filmmaking is resources and time is a finite resource so you want to know what you need and get it and then everything else is just you know gravy as they say Oh, number four, create a synesthesia. Synesthesia is a, basically a pitch deck, but it's more of a feeling that you would share with your creative team. So in your synesthesia is going to talk about your inspiration, what art inspired you for the film, you, and you have it there, the look of it. What colors are you feeling? What what mood are you creating? What what are the smells that that when you see something like is it smell smoky? Is it smell like tobacco? What is that? Does that that usually starts to drop an image in people's minds? What kind of music are you hearing? Is it is there are there pieces of poetry that inspire the look, the feel, the vibe of the film? Creating that again well before pre production is a great thing to have and share with all of your department heads, your DP, your production designer, your art directors, your costume designer, your all your department heads can get a look of this. And then everyone is now inside your head. And that's what you want in order for your team to be able to effectively work with you. You need to be able to communicate your vision. And a synesthesia is a really great way to, to, to communicate your vision and also it's good because now you don't have to say no a bunch of times because people are bringing you things that don't fit with the vision when you got the vision right there you're like here here's here's what we're doing and people will tend to, to collaborate with you in a better way and you can be more collaborative because you have already thought it through and because you've already thought it through, you should be in a place where you don't need to be so precious about every idea. You can now be flexible because you've thought so much through because things are going to come in, get changed, get turned around, thrown out. Budgets are going to uh, impact what you can do and what you can't do. So this allows you to get the whole vision all the way out. And then now we start making the magic happen and, and change. So it's a really important step for you. All these things that I've mentioned are about you being prepared for your best days on set. It's not really for anybody else. It's really for you. But when you do this, everyone else is going to have a much better experience and your crew is going to respect you. And this is a really important thing too. When you're a first time director and it's your first day on set, you want to earn the respect, trust um, of your crew. And the only way to do that is by being prepared and you can't fake it. <laughs> you got to do the work. It's not bravado. It's not ego. It's not volume. You know, it's not, it's not any of those things. It's just being prepared. Another suggestion I'll make is for when you're doing an indie film in particular or any indie project and, and the budget's tight and you're wearing a lot of hats, as I know you are as director, try to let the producer produce and you just direct. Stay in your lane as much as possible. This will help you deliver a better film. 
at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. And there's no little line on the bottom that says, but I was busy this day solving some producer problem. Try, try, try to get a producer who can handle all the fires and let them. Oh, number five. And it just really shouldn't have been number five because working with your actors is really like such an important thing to do before you get on set. As much time as you can rehearse and block with your actors as possible, take it. Um, budget constraints, time constraints are going to impact all of these things, but rehearsing with your actors is, is so important. If you can lay out the where the furniture will be, what the room will look like on tape in a just an open space, a theater space uh, in your in your in your apartment or your or your living room, wherever you can sort of create the space, do it. Any time that you can have with the actors without the pressure of the cameras, really the pressure of time the pressure of time so that you can get the actors questions answered, ask them questions, try different things so that when you get to set, you're good. Everyone's good. Everyone has an understanding and you're able to move forward relatively quickly. The other thing that I would really recommend when you work with actors is in this rehearsal process, try to get to know what their process is. You can ask them or you can just observe how they function. You know, what's going to be the way to help an actor get to XYZ result, XYZ emotion or or truth, really authenticity in the scene is what we're going for. Um, if you can start to understand and develop a way of working with them, that will be very helpful for you on set and will make your days much, 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 much better. And everyone will be so, so happy. And the actors will be happy because they'll get to do amazing work and, and you'll get to help guide them to even more amazing work, more deep work, because then if you do all of these things that I've said, if you've got your storyboards and your, and your shot list and you've done your line script and you did your synesthesia and you've blocked with the actors, when you show up on set, now there's room for magic. Now anything can happen and things always do happen, but you'll still be able to stay on track and maybe even catch something really amazing on film or on digital. <laughs> All right, so your first day on set, you're already, you're prepared, just stay focused. Um, make sure you figured out uh, how you want to carry your script and your notes with you. I always like to use a really flimsy, uh, a flimsy notebook so I can throw it in my pocket because I'm usually like, I never sit, I'm always moving. And make sure you have the tools that you need. Um, some people I know even put their storyboards up on like a whiteboard, like off to the back so that they can, everyone, the crew, your, your, your scripty, your script supervisor, everyone can kind of see where you are and you're getting everything you need to get for the day. Um, however you like to work, but trust the process, trust the work that you've done. Cause now it's, it's baked in and you are ready to go. So hope that this helped you guys. Um, again, my name is Nikki Michaud. Congratulations on getting your film and I cannot wait to see